Okay, trying a different setup here. I've had problems with the iPhone and problems with this camera. I think I got a battery charged hopefully long enough. My uh, yesterday's video didn't get uploaded um, because it uh, stuck on the iPhone right now. So we're going to get into something different. I've been having to go through my huge book collection. Huge book collection. I think last month or the month before I got rid of about 50 books. Maybe more than that, and I unfortunately added a few more books from like a book or the uh, rummage sale. But I, I think I've gotten rid of a few more of those. But it just one of those things you just end up books are just. Um, but thankfully or unthankfully, because I always like to go to the local book sale that they have every year, and they did not have one as far as I know. I checked. Um, but these are books that I got a long time ago. Some of these were uh, shown on my YouTube channel. Some of them were not. And uh, many years ago, there was a great community of autograph collectors out there. Not just baseball card collectors, you know, people collecting commons and Hall of Famers. Um, but there was an online collecting of everything, everything autographed, especially books. And so we were kind of in competition to find the best books here. And my library sale provided a lot of books there. And some of these came from that. I don't remember everywhere they came from here. But this is David Brinkley, The Extraordinary... Uh, story of the transformation of a city and a nation. David Brinkley, Washington Goes to War. And um, it says, 1988, Happy Birthday, Our Neighbor has written a compelling book about a time you will uh, well remember. Uh, Sandra and Nick or something like that. It's, and you don't worry about inscription books. And there is David Brinkley's autograph. I don't know if you'll be able to see that there. A lot of people sometimes would cut that out um, and put it into a matte piece. That's where a lot of matte piece autographs come from if they're inscribed. But the inscription is on the other page and David Brinkley's on the next one. I've seen David Brinkley's autograph enough to know that's probably legit there. This one um, I found at a yard, or, um, the same book sale. Um, I don't, maybe that was the same book sale. I'm not sure. And this is a Rosie, an autobiography, a gentle giant. This is Rosie Greer, um, and it says uh, something. You are one of a kind. Um, I can't read that name there. Keep on pushing to the top. Uh, something, and then Rosie Greer. Um, so that's really pretty neat there. And again, Rosie Greer's autograph, and that's it's nice to have all that because that's all in his hand, all of that. That's really really cool to have that one. Some people think, you know, at one time they thought inscribed books were worth nothing, and in some cases they're worth less, and sometimes they're worth more. This one here, I got this dirt cheap. I uh, I can't remember if it was eBay or or, or um, Abe Books or whatever it was. The generous years are members of a frontier boyhood, Chet Huntley. I uh, collected news autographs, and there's Chent Huntley, 11-11, uh, 1971. So that's kind of in the Huntley and Brinkley report there, so I think that was really pretty cool. I do have Huntley, and I think we just saw David Brinkley, so that, I always thought that was very cool to have, have both of their books. Uh, this one here, um, I think... Uh, um, I had a competition to finding a Jessica Savage book. I said, hey, uh, ha ha, I bet you can't find a Jessica Savage book. She was, I think, murdered or died or, or accidentally died. I don't remember exactly what happened, but she was a prominent news uh, reporter, um, uh, national news reporter, and then she had died. Uh, television anchor, and says, best wishes, Jessica Savage. Uh, came from somebody's personal library there. I think there's kind of a pressed mark there. I'm not sure what that is. Um, another YouTuber then eventually found one. I don't know if it was cheaper than what I paid. I think mine was like 20 bucks or something. I don't really remember the whole deal. Maybe it's 10 bucks. But I got that really, really dirt cheap. And I thought that was really pretty cool. It's, some of these books are super hard to find here. Um, I got this probably for like 20 bucks back in the day. And I've seen people selling this for like 200 bucks or more. I don't really remember. But In Search of America, Peter Jennings and Todd Brewster. Uh, again, I don't remember paying a whole lot of money for that one. I tried to keep my money, you know, to the wise. Um, I have a slip of paper here. It's telling me something here. I spent $18.99 for this book here. And we'll try to get to it here. And I think, I, I'm pretty sure that was Peter Jennings' autograph there. He had a very unusual um, um, autograph there. Um, I think that's his, unless that's Todd Brewster. Hopefully, I need to research that again, but there's a crazy autograph right there. And I'm pretty sure that's Peter Jennings there. Um, very, very unusual. 
So we'll just double check that one. If that's Todd Brewster, well then I'm an idiot. But anyway, um, we will. Um, it's, I haven't looked at these in many, many years because they sit on a bookshelf doing nothing. This one here is Palestine Peace, Not Apartheid, Jimmy Carter. Reason why I grabbed that one here, this was a book I picked up at a library sale for next to nothing. Jimmy Carter was a good signer, um, but he, uh, at one time, he would sign photographs. And so he was signing photographs that people printed off of Google Images. And I said, well, shoot, people are stealing all these Google Images. Why don't I send a postcard? And I had an official postcard of Jimmy Carter, and that was not signed. He said, we don't sign these types of things. But at the time, he was signing photographs so I said well shoot I better get something out and somebody told me he signs books only now so and I was an idiot for sending that other thing well I was not an idiot but hey don't you know that this is all he signs I was reading all the stuff no I did not know because when something says something and somebody tells me another so anyway uh, when he signed his books um, and his items he just signed it Jay Carter not Jimmy Carter so you just only for the free autographs essentially you got a Jay Carter but still nonetheless it's an autograph and a book that a lot of people don't have autographed probably so I figured that would be that one right there um, we got a few more books here hopefully I have enough time on the camera here Joan Crawford my way of life and I just I just flipped to that book you know just as a joke to see what was in there and I, whoa Joan Crawford um, I'm pretty sure uh, looks like there's some plastic peeling on the back of it. Um, there's no plastic on the front. I don't understand where this... I think this plastic is actually part of the cover here. Um, it's actually a rare book. And I have written autographed in here. And Joan Crawford, I am pretty sure, has autographed that book right there. It looked like it was signed a long time ago. This book came out in like the 60s, early 70s, and it's a, not an easy book to find. At one time, people were asking a lot of money for this. But this was a Goodwill bins find for probably, about, I think, a dollar at the time it was. So I had to have that. I was absolutely shocked. This particular book here is Danielle Fischel, A Teenager's Guide to Life. And Danielle Fischel has autographed the cover. I thought that's very, very unusual. But it's kind of her picture there. So I figured, you know what? Danielle Fischel, if you don't remember, is from Boy Meets World. Um, so I sent her that book to get autographed. I don't know if Daniel Fischel still signs, but I thought that was really cool to get to paying to autograph my book there. Very cool. So that was sent TTM. This one here is On Religion in the State, Gregory Schaff, Ph.D. Um, so there's this one here. Some of them are not super um, interesting books here, but we will just show you this one here. Um, there's some sort of little one, what that is there. Franklin Jefferson and Madison, On Religion and the State. And I believe Gregory Schaff, and he has put first edition, um, he's written that on there. Gregory Schaff, first edition, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, we've got a few more books here. I'll try to not to knock over the stack here. I think about five more books here. This one here is Don Blanding, Joy is an Inside Job. Don Blanding was uh, uh, lived in Hawaii, I believe. A prolific author and had all kinds of records and books and who knows. This is part of the book cover here that was inside there. Um, and there's some big, dear Audrey, uh, I don't know, Suzanne wrote something in there to their friend Audrey. And there's a talisman, and a talisman in here has been glued inside the book. And it's got Don Blanding's address, so it says Hollywood, California, but I believe he lived in Hawaii for a while. And there's this Audrey, Aloha, uh, something, something, Joyous Years, Don Blanding. Uh, so he autographed a book within a book, which is very weird. And then Joy is an inside job, Don Blanding. That's not his autograph. That's actually part of the book, I believe. Don Blanding autographed books and Don Blanding. So, um, very, very unusual. And there's Mr. Blanding right there. It looks like he's signing a copy of something for somebody. So he loved autographs. Um, so everything Don Blanding is almost always autographed. Not always true, but everything I've found ever of Don Blanding has been autographed. So it's a very unusual piece there with a pamphlet glued in there. This one here is Produce Facts by Frank Camilla. What your mother maybe didn't tell you. And um, here is Frank Good Health, Frank Camilla, 1995. I'm not sure why I kept that one. If he was a... I'm trying to think of what book... Um, not sure if he was a local guy from where I used to live. I'm not really sure where he was from. Um, let's see. Oh, oh he's out, out of Portland, Oregon. So, yeah, he's a local Oregon guy. I have a... I think I have the Green Grocer. That's what I was thinking of. This one here is John Chancellor, Peril and Promise. 
that may have been one. I don't remember if that was an eBay purchase or a U or a internet purchase or if that was a John NBC News John Chancellor, and then he would or that was the announcer, and the guy would announce. There's John Chancellor's autograph right there. So I believe he was on NBC News. I'm I'm not. Don't quote me on that one. One of the big networks there. So another news guy there. Then we have this one here and it's America is my neighborhood Willard Scott so I sent him TTM and I thought that was a cool book there he has since passed on here and I believe this is my book plate in here don't quote me on that one I haven't looked at this in a while try to get to that one I sent Willard Scott a very crazy looking um, thing because Willard Scott was a little different guy um, he played Ronald McDonald back in the day and he was always a jokester because he uh, called where I live Dumbsville um, I was like, oh, Willard. Uh, two more books here. So we have uh, The Place to Be, Roger Mudd. I believe it's about his uh, book on Washington, CBS, and the glory days of television news. So I always thought that was kind of cool. And I believe this is a book played as well. I just used to get these, you know, kind of gummed. Uh, um, so I kind of wetted that and stuck that in the book. Uh, Best Witches. Uh, Roger Mudd, so that's very, very cool. I'm not sure if Roger Mudd is still around or he passed on. I don't remember. This is a book that I think I got for four dollars or something on the internet, three or four dollars maybe. Maybe it was a library book sale. And then the last one here, I found this, um, Peter Lynch, um, Beating the Street. He's a financial advisor or something. Best-selling author of up, One Up on Wall Street. And I picked that up at the library book sale just to see. He just looked like an interesting guy. He had the uh, denim shirt on there with a tie, so that's kind of cool. And he was still alive, and I got him to autograph. Uh, I do a lot of book plates here. To Henry, best wishes on your investing. Do research. Um, Peter uh, Lynch. So I thought that was very, very cool to have him autograph that there. Back when this book was done, he looked kind of like an older dude, you know what I mean? Uh, so he's probably pretty old now, but I just thought that was an unusual book. You know, nobody, you know, probably thought of ever writing Peter Lynch or some of these other guys here. So that is my autograph books for now. I have a ton more. A ton more. So stay tuned for those videos and I will get back on my regular videos when I get a chance. I have the golf thing up here because I've been watching the golf tournament. It's been quite exciting here. So hope you got to see some books that you may not have seen before. I mean it just shows if you do your homework and research you can get some really pretty awesome stuff for next to nothing. And thank you for watching.